Cliffhangers certainly aren't uncommon in the gaming world. They can be a fantastic way to set the table for a sequel that fans will be gagging to play, while sometimes they're simply the result of a game that was rushed to market before it was complete. Looking at you, Halo 2. The overwhelming majority of video game cliffhangers are resolved eventually though, because when there's money to be made, a sequel is sure to emerge sooner rather than later. Still, that's not always the case, and there are a handful of games which have left the fate of a major character, perhaps even the protagonist themselves, entirely up for debate. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video game characters whose fates were left unresolved. But before we begin, I'm very excited to tell you guys about today's list sponsor, Desperados 3. For those of you who don't know, Desperados is a real-time tactic series with a heavy emphasis on story. This installment has been eagerly anticipated for well over a decade now and acts as a prequel to the much beloved Desperados, Wanted Dead or Alive. Set across the Wild West, Desperados 3 stars five unique playable characters, each with their own abilities and skills to help you survive across this hardcore stealth experience. There are tons of mission types to get stuck into as well, with the emphasis being on player freedom. Whether you want to go through levels or go in completely aggressive, it's entirely up to you. This is all on top of slick presentation, likeable characters, and a diverse Wild West setting that draws you into this story. The game has been getting some absolutely stellar reviews over the past few days as well, so don't just take my word for it. Desperados 3 is available right now on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. And there's even a free demo if you want to try it out for yourself before buying over on the Steam page. So check those links down in the description below and give it a shot for yourself. So check those out. Cheers for watching. And now let's get back to that list. Number 10, James Sunderland, Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 is an especially interesting case because while the survival horror masterpiece does indeed depict many possible fates for tortured protagonist James Sunderland, Konami has never even remotely suggested which of the six endings is actually canon. James's possible fates include leaving Silent Hill, either with a clean slate or being cursed by the town, committing suicide by drowning himself, and in decidedly jokier fashion, encountering the mystical dog who has been behind the events of the game all along, or even being abducted by aliens. That one's my favourite because it's just... why? Anyway, these subsequent Silent Hill games have offered only passing reference to James, and so it's entirely up in the air what truly became of him, which has mystified and agonised fans ever since. Given the series' prevailing bleakness, it's probably a fair bet that James didn't have a good time whatever the outcome, but we'll probably never know for sure. Number 9. Donald Love, Grand Theft Auto 3 The Grand Theft Auto franchise is of course jam-packed with a host of colourful characters most of whom receive a relatively concrete fate, be it death, jail, or in rare cases, freedom. But there's one especially baffling outlier in GTA 3, and that's the charming media mogul and self-confessed cannibal and necrophile Donald Love. Love makes several memorable appearances throughout the story, and in the character's final mission, Love's Disappearance, the player arrives at his building to find it deserted, with Love nowhere to be found. Neither the character nor his pal are ever heard from again, and though Love has made brief appearances in several GTA prequel titles, his ultimate fate has never been resolved. In 2009, Rockstar finally commented on Love's disappearance, saying, quote, No one is quite sure what happened to Donald Love. He certainly crossed a few boundaries and was trying to find a way back to normality. Whether or not he managed this and what happened to the elderly Asian gentleman are matters we cannot speculate on. Number 8. Gabe Logan, Siphon Filter, Logan Shadow. The Siphon Filter franchise might not be quite up there with the PlayStation's AAA greats, but protagonist Gabe Logan was nevertheless one of the most recognisable action heroes of the PS1 era, though his relevance declined during the PS2's run. And so, with the sixth and final entry into the series, the PSP Siphon Filter Logan Shadow, fans were shocked that it left them hanging regarding Logan's fate. In a post credit scene, Gabe decides to retire from the world of espionage, only to be shot by the villainous Trinidad moments later. A mortally wounded Gabe appears to be bleeding out in the game's final moments, while his partner desperately tries to revive him. The end. Though this seemed to be setting up a seventh game in the series, almost 15 years have passed without a new entry, so it's safe to say that Gabe's fate will remain forever unknown. If fans are lucky, they might one day get a Siphon Filter reboot, but even then it almost certainly won't exist within this continuity, so likely won't make any effort to resolve the hanging thread. Number 7, 13, 13. 
Though neither a critical nor commercial smash hit, 13 was one of the most distinctive first-person shooters of the noughties. Ah, oh, we really need to find a new word for that decade. Noted for its cel shaded art style and comic booky framing, serving as an homage to its graphic novel origins. But the game ends on one hell of a brutal cliffhanger, as after protagonist 13 prevents a coup of the US government, he's celebrating on a yacht with Walter Sheridan, the brother of the assassinated American president. 13 overhears a conversation which reveals that Walter was behind the coup all along, and moments later, he's cornered by Walter and his men while a to-be-continued title card leaves fans waiting for a sequel. As you probably guessed by its inclusion on this list though, the sequel never materialised, and so fans were never quite sure what became of their hero. There is a sliver of hope though. With a remastered version of the game set to be released later this year, if its sales are strong enough, there's a faint, and I mean faint, chance that Ubisoft might, maybe, commission a follow-up. Maybe. Number 6. Alan Wake, Alan Wake. These games really need to get more inventive with their titles. Remedy's Alan Wake is gaming's most potent metaphor for writer's block, as the titular author finds himself attempting to track down his missing wife Alice in the sleepy town of Bright Falls, Washington. All the while, his incomplete manuscript appears to come to life in front of his very eyes. The game ends with Alan submitting himself to The Dark Place, an alternate dimension where art can influence our own reality in exchange for Alice's freedom, seemingly leaving fans waiting for the inevitable sequel. But later in the year, two DLC chapters were released, which fans hoped would finally clarify Alan's fate. As it turned out though, they basically only muddied the waters even further, ultimately keeping Alan trapped in The Dark Place. No canonical follow-ups have ever been released, and given Alan Wake's relatively soft sales, it's unlikely Remedy will ever pursue a sequel. Still, they did recently buy the rights back from Microsoft, and their last game, Control, did feature some Alan Wake easter eggs, so never say never, even though I'm not holding my breath. Number 5. Regina and Dylan – Dino Crisis 2 the original Dino Crisis is one of the PS1's greatest ever video game. Yeah, it might just be Resident Evil with dinosaurs, but it's Resident Evil with dinosaurs. What's not to bloody love about that concept? Even without that, it was brilliantly executed in its own right with a likeable and well-designed protagonist in redhead femme fatale Regina. Though the sequel ditched the survival horror elements and opted for a more sci-fi heavy arcade shooter style, it still made good on the pulse racing dino shooting action, even if it criminally left Regina's fate head smackingly ambiguous. Dino Crisis 2 ends with Regina using a time gate to get back to her own time, but her pal Dylan, who the player also controls during the game, is unable to join her due to his daughter Paula getting trapped by debris. Dylan tells Regina to travel back in time by herself and find a way to save them, providing a solid setup for a third game. Bizarrely though, Dino Crisis 3 ended up being set in the 2500s, with no mention ever made of what happened to either Regina or Dylan, not to forget Paula. While there have been periodic whispers of an impending Dino Crisis reboot, much like those siphon filter rumours, a new game would almost certainly abandon the existing continuity altogether. Number 4. Page, Beyond Good and Evil Despite being a commercial bust, 2003's action-adventure game Beyond Good and Evil is enough of a revered cult classic to have a big-budget AAA sequel currently in development. However, the original game ends with protagonist Jade destroying the antagonistic alien force known as the Dom Z, seemingly concluding things on a relatively concrete happy note. Well, except from the post credit scene which reveals that, back on Jade's home planet, her uncle Paige has grown a Dom Z spore out of his hand, suggesting that the fight is far from over, and that he might not be faring so well after all. It's a sequel that's tortured the fanbase for the better part of two decades, and worse still, even the upcoming sequel likely won't resolve it because, well, it's actually a prequel. Damn. Number 3. Jackie Estacado – The Darkness 2 The Darkness games weren't amazing by any stretch, but they were a lot of gonzo fun to play, in large part due to their appealing art design and everything but the kitchen sink approach to both story and gameplay. By the end of the second game, demon-powered mobster protagonist Jackie is given two choices. Stay in the insane asylum with a vision of his murdered girlfriend Jenny, or venture to hell and try to rescue her. The former option ends with Jackie and Jenny slow dancing in the asylum, while the latter sees Jackie saving Jenny from hell, only to then discover that she has been transformed into the polar opposite of the darkness, the Angelus. 
darkness. She then informs Jackie that he has grown too powerful and seals him in hell along with the darkness, causing him to scream out in anguish as the game ends. No matter which ending you pick, there's no clear title of fate for Jackie, and given that The Darkness 2 was unfortunately a massive commercial bust, there's virtually no chance of a sequel ever being produced. Number 2. Gordon Freeman and Alex Vance, Half-Life 2 Episode 2 Half-Life 2 Episode 2 boasts surely the most agonised over cliffhanger ending in the history of video games. The episodic adventure concludes with Alex Vance's father Eli being murdered by Combine advisors, leaving a devastated Alex cradling her dead dad, while protagonist Gordon Freeman looks on helplessly. Almost 15 years later, Valve still hasn't released either Episode 3 or a true Half-Life 3, and most sensible fans are simply resigned to a direct sequel never being made. Well, except Rich Hudson, who still foolishly believes this might happen. Sorry Rich, that VR game is all you're gonna get. Anyway, while it's clear that the next chapter would follow Gordon and Alex seeking revenge on the Combine, fans have been speculating about the outcome of their crusade ever since. I mean, would Gordon and Alex both survive their crusade or not? Though a new Alex starring Half-Life VR game has just come out, fans shouldn't expect it to reveal too much new because it's a prequel set before the events of Half-Life 2. Number 1. The Prince and Elica Prince of Persia 2008 2008's cel-shaded Prince of Persia reboot may have been a commercial disappointment for Ubisoft, but it remains one of the series' most entertaining entries to date, even despite its infuriatingly open-ended finale. The main game ends with the revelation that Princess Elica's father sold his soul to the nefarious god Araman in order to resurrect his daughter, resulting in black corruption courting the land. Elica ends up sacrificing herself to seal Araman away and destroy the corruption, after which the prince ill-advisedly makes the same deal as her father to once again revive her. The final scene of the game sees the prince carrying a resurrected Elica away, while the corruption once again spreads throughout the land. Pretty depressing, right? Well, it gets worse. The game's epilogue DLC, released three months later, then has Elika openly infuriated at the prince for bringing her back at great cost, and after they defeat the final form of Elika's father, Elika leaves the prince to seek out other members of her race. As for the prince, well, he's basically left to his own ambiguous devices. While it's implied that Araman will be seeking revenge against him. And that's all she wrote, because the only mainline Prince of Persia game released since 2010's The Forgotten Sands ignored the reboot entirely and acted instead as a sequel to the earlier 3D games. So that's our list. Wonder what you guys think down in the comments below. Are there any other cliffhangers left unresolved that have absolutely infuriated you over the years? And do you agree with my picks here? Either way, while you're down there, could you give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't, though, I've been Josh. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.